This tutorial shows how to create multiple sales orders in JD Edwards Enterprise 1 using a set of comma separated values files as input. Starting with tools release 9.2.7.4, you can use a custom create array step to map inputs from a CSV file, a JSON file, or a JSON string into orchestration inputs. The custom create array step provides an easy to use interface for mapping data to inputs. In this tutorial, we will record the process to create a sales order using the process recorder, define an orchestration to receive multiple CSV files, set a condition of receiving one file for each sales order, and automatically create sales orders, use a custom create array step to map the data in the CSV files into orchestration inputs, and then we will test the orchestration. Let's get started. First, we will record the sales order creation process using the process recorder. Sign in to the JD Edwards Enterprise One web client and access record a process and start the recording. Now let's access the sales order entry application from the fast path and click add. Let's add these values in the header fields and the grid. Click Submit and Close. Let's click Return Values in the Process Recorder window and click Previous Order Number, Previous Order Type and Previous Order Company. Click Resume in the Process Recorder and click Stop and then enter the name as SO Entry. Now let's create an orchestration using this form request. Access form requests from the orchestrator studio and select the SO entry form request. Here let's select step 2 enter new order. In this step we can see the order of execution table with the steps we recorded earlier in this tutorial. The orchestration works as expected by using the input names and default values that were generated by record a process. The input names are easier to understand when you edit the values in the table. Let's edit these values. Save the form request and from the Manage menu, let's select Create Orchestration. The system creates an orchestration with inputs, transformations and outputs to call the form service request. Click the Start icon and then click the Inputs and Values icon. In the Inputs and Values window, verify the inputs and delete P42101 underscore version. Now, click the SO Entry form request and click the Transformation icon and let's verify the transformations. The transformation for version P42101 is invalid because we removed it as an orchestration input and that's ok. It will correct itself when we save the orchestration. Now let's access output and assertions, verify the outputs and enable the select option for previous order, previous order type and previous order company outputs. Now let's run this orchestration. Enable the raw button and enter this input to create the same order that we entered in the sales order entry application during the recording earlier in this tutorial. Verify the newly created order and note the order number and then let's verify the newly created order in JD Edwards Enterprise 1 application. Next, we will create two CSV files using the test data. Let's enter these lines in any text editor and then save the file with the CSV extension. The first three columns of the CSV file are defined as header fields 
meaning all consecutive rows that have matching values in the first three columns are grouped into a single header sales order object with a detail array that contains the values from the other columns. The last two rows in this CSV file generate a separate sales order using the break functionality. Similarly, let's create another CSV file with this data. Next, let's create an orchestration to accept the CSV files as input to create sales orders. This orchestration receives any number of CSV files as input and then uses the SO entry orchestration to add each order to JD Edwards Enterprise 1. Access the Orchestrator Studio and create a new orchestration with the name Import Sales Orders from CSV. Let's click Start and then select Input and Values. In the File Inputs tab, let's select Process Files as an array, enable Overwrite Existing Files, and enter CSV Array as File Array Name. Now let's add a rule to the orchestration. Enter the name as Have a File. From the Match Type drop down list, let's select Match All. From the rule type drop down list, let's select string. In the value 1 field, enter file name. And let's select the operator as greater than. Let's enable the literal option and enter the value as 0 in the value 2 field. From the literal value drop down list, let's select string. This rule compares an input string called file name and checks if it is greater than 0. Now let's access the transformation window of the rule and then from the iterate over drop down menu select csv array. Select csv array file name from the available values drop down list for the file name input. Now let's add the custom create array step to map the data from the csv files into orchestration inputs. This is the main objective of this tutorial. Click the design mode and let's add a create array custom step here in the true path. Enter the name as Map Inputs from CSV. Ensure that the CSV file option is selected. Note that you can use what you have learned in this tutorial to similarly map data from a JSON file or a JSON string. In the dataset variable name, let's enter Sales Order Data. This is the name of the top level array that will be created from the CSV data. Enable the CSV Has Headers option. Click the sample file button and then let's navigate and select the sodetail1.csv file that we created earlier in this tutorial. Notice that the member name and variable name columns are automatically populated with the column headers from your CSV file. You don't need to manually enter these values because the sample file button reads the column headers in your CSV file and auto populates them in the custom window. The variable names for each column from the CSV file must match the expected inputs to the SO entry orchestration since each order object will be passed to the orchestration using JDE underscore object. Since the CSV column names already match the input variable names for the SO entry orchestration, let's not change the names. The inputs for the orchestration created earlier in this tutorial had these three header fields and an array named sales order data with two members, quantity ordered and item number. The input looked like this. To designate the first three members as header fields, enable the header option for these three members. We can see that as soon as we turn on the header field option for at least one member, Orchestrator Studio enables the header object and detail object fields for us to provide names for the header object and detail array created for each object. All the members designated as header fields will be in the header object and all other members are added to an array using the detail object name. The dataset variable name will be the name of the array containing each of the header objects created based on the changes in the values in any of the columns declared as header fields. Let's rename header object to sales order header and detail object to sales order detail. 
It is important that the variable names and detail object name match the inputs in the SO entry orchestration created earlier in this tutorial. Now let's access the transformation window of the map inputs from CSV step. Here, select CSV array file name from the available values drop down menu. Next, let's add the SO entry orchestration after the map inputs from CSV custom step and access the transformations window. From the iterate over drop down list, select sales order data. From the available values drop down list, under map inputs from CSV, select sales order data, sales order header for JDE underscore object. Now click the end icon and access outputs and assertions. Here enable the select option for previous order, previous order type and previous order company output values. Now let's test this orchestration. Click the files button. Note that this button is available for the orchestrations that have file inputs defined. In the files window, let's browse and select or drag and drop the CSV files that we created earlier in this tutorial. Click run. Let's verify the output values. The orchestration result displays details about the three orders that were created. Two orders are created using sodetail1.csv and one order is created using sodetail2.csv. Let's make a note of these three sales order numbers and verify them in the JD Edwards Enterprise One application. Now, in the sales order entry application, let's search the order numbers. We can see that the order details match the details in each CSV file. In this tutorial, you learned how to record a process and create an orchestration to create a sales order, create an orchestration that accepts files as inputs, create a rule that iterates over an array of file names until there are no more files, use a custom create array step to read the contents of an input CSV file and map those members to orchestration variables, add the sales order orchestration as a step in the parent orchestration, and iterate to create sales orders for each input CSV file. For more information, see the JD Edwards Enterprise One Tools Orchestrator Guide and visit learnjde.com. Thanks for watching.